I've been using the FitTrack Doria scales for the last few weeks as my main fitness scale. So in this video I break down all the features included, how accurate they are and if I recommend getting one, plus I've left timestamps on screen if you do want to skip ahead. Welcome back team, I'm Steve, qualified personal trainer from Stag Fitness. Now this isn't a sponsored video, but FitTrack did send me the Dario scales for me to try, along with the new Atria 2.0 smartwatch, but I'll cover that in a future video. Inside the box you get the scale and of course these user instructions. The Dario BMI scale will need four AAA batteries, which aren't included. Then all you need to do to set the scales up is download the FitTrack Pro app from the App Store. It's the green app with the white logo. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth is already on. And then turn the scales on by applying enough pressure to them. The easiest way is just to stand on them. Once that's done, then go back into the app. Click on the Me tab in the bottom right hand corner. Select My Device and press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. If your phone is close, then the scales will automatically pair. If you do have any other people at home that also want to use in the app, then you can also create extra profiles in the app, and then you can switch between users. For me though, I wouldn't bother setting up any extra users in the same app, as you'd be forever handing your phone over just so they can track their own stats. Instead, just get them to download the app on their own phone, then you can log into the same account if you use the same details, and then you can create a new profile. Plus, if you do it this way, it will prevent any other user seeing your stats and your weighing results, as good or as bad as they may be. The Doria Smart Body Scales can track 17 different index measurements, so I'll go through them all quickly and exactly what they're doing. One, your weight, which for most of us is the main thing we want to track, but it shouldn't be the only thing you focus on. I'll tell you why in the next section. If you go in the app though, you can switch between kg, pounds or stone, and then the reading on the scales themselves will change between your preferred measurements. Two, you've got your BMI, which is your body mass indicator. The standard body format in relation to your weight to your height. I really pay any attention to this as it can greatly vary depending on what training you're currently doing. Three, you've got your BFP. The proportion of adipose tissue in your body's composition reflecting the levels of fat in the body. Four, you have your muscle rate, which is your physical health and strength. This is calculated using the proportion of muscle, weight and height. Five, you've got your optimum water content. Six, you've got your current bone mass. Seven, you have your BMR. This is your basal metabolic rate. The rate your body uses energy when you're either at rest or inactive. Eight, you've got your protein rate. Nine is your metabolic age, which compares your BMR against the average BMR of your age to give you a benchmark to determine your body's efficiency. 10, you've got your visceral fat index, which indicates the likelihood of health-related factors occurring. 11, you've got the subtaneous fat reading, the fat located between the layer of your skin and the connective tissue. 12, you've got your standard weight measurement, which is your ideal weight. 13, you've got your weight control measurement. This indicates the difference between your standard and your current weight. 14, you've got fat mass, the ratio between body composition and fat mass. 15, you also get a measurement how heavy you would be without the added fat. 16, you've got muscle mass, and 17, you've got protein mass. So there is a lot to keep track of here. Most people who are trying to lose weight through diet or exercise are only focused on that one number that appears on the scale when they're standing them. It doesn't matter how many inches they've lost around the waist, the muscle they've put on, even how good they look in the mirror, they're still only focused on that magic number that they've made up in their own head to determine if they're actually happy with their body or not. Remember, to lose just one pound a week, that's 3,500 calories. And most people are happy unless they've lost at least two pound a week, which is 7,000 calories. Even if you did exercise five times a week, and each workout you burnt around 500 calories. That leaves you crazy, well for most people anyway, 4,500 calories of food that you still gotta cut out if you're weekly eating. So what I really like about having these scales is the fact that I now have the ability to track all these stats so I don't have to just focus on my weight. For example, if I haven't even lost one pound this week, according to the Dario scales, then this for some people can be downright depressing for most people, causing them to give up on the goals altogether. But with these scales, I can now also see on the areas that I have improved on. For example, my weight may have stayed the same, but according to the app, I can now tell that my muscle mass has actually improved. So instead of me feeling all depressed that my weight hasn't gone down, 
I can now focus on what I have achieved, which in the long run will help me to stay motivated as with having access to all these stats will give you constant things to improve upon. You can also set daily notifications in the FitTrack Pro app to remind you to weigh in at certain points in the day. For me though, I weigh yourself around once a month or worst case, once every two weeks. That way, when you do stand on the scales, you'll have a better chance of seeing the difference between your previous results. Now I've taken this from FitTrack's website. FitTrack is now FDA approved and has demonstrated to be within 3% accurate as a medical DEXA scan. A DEXA scan uses X-ray technology to report on an individual's body composition with incredible accuracy. So for tracking weight, they're spot on. I'll leave a link below though if you do want to check out the Doria scales from FitTrack as they do have offers on from time to time so you can see the latest prices. If you do also have any questions about the scales, ask away in the comments below as I do really recommend them. Subscribe if the video has helped you out. Thanks for watching.